Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Friday, August 16th, around 8.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. All is quiet on the sun, but not on the Atlantic. Keep calm. It's boom time, Ernesto style. Hurricane Ernesto to hit Bermuda with life-threatening flooding and 100 mile per hour winds as a strong Cat 2 storm due to pass over the island now. Yeah, it, Ernesto appears to be making landfall. Advisory 21A showing maximum sustained winds at 100 miles per hour. Let's take a look at the key message. Ernesto is expected to bring a prolonged period of strong winds and storm surge on Bermuda that's beginning currently and expected to continue through Saturday night. A hurricane warning is in effect for the island and preparations to protect life and property should be completed as tropical storm force winds are already being observed. Heavy rainfall associated with Ernesto is expected to impact Bermuda through Saturday and will likely result in considerable life threatening flash flooding, especially in low-lying areas. So heed the warnings and get to high ground if necessary. Bad news, a rare sighting of the doomsday fish found near Southern California shores. Let's take a look at this. A rare and perhaps ominous sighting, an oarfish washed up at La Jolla shores over the weekend. Now the group of beachgoers who spotted it carry the fish on a paddleboard up the beach and then put it in a truck bed to turn it over to Scripps to be tested. It's unclear exactly how big this fish was, but most oarfish measure anywhere between 10 and 30 feet long. In some areas, the fish is considered a preview of bad news or a natural disaster like an earthquake or tsunami. In 2011, more than 20 oarfish washed ashore in Japan just a few months before that 9.1 magnitude earthquake struck. Oh my, I'm not just saying, but I'm saying. Here's the full forecast. Areas of excessive heat and excessive rainfall today. Dangerous hot conditions are occurring today in southeast Oklahoma. The Arc Latex and Lower Mississippi Valley and Puerto Rico. Hot temperatures surround this area throughout the southern U.S. Excessive heat warnings and heat advisories are in effect. Excessive rainfall may lead to flash flooding today over parts of northern Alabama into eastern Tennessee and even the Cascade. So let's take a look at the GFS model. You can see that moisture moving to the east here, Pennsylvania, the Great Lakes region. Through the end of the weekend here, it will be the East Coast with most of the moisture. It looks like some pop-up storms here in the Four Corners, monsoonal activity each day as well. As we can take a look at Ernesto rapidly moving up and away and out of the picture by the end of the weekend. Seismic update. No quakes of note, moderate activity worldwide, but nothing of significance as we're waiting for a flurry of activity to kick off the next eruption on Iceland, but that doesn't appear to be happening. Worldwide Volcano News, Stromboli, a new lava on the Sierra del Fuco. Take a look at White Island puffing and passing. Significant rise in SO2 concentrations detected during a monitoring flight. Fuego to 16,000, Santo Guido to 15,000, Suanosima to 6,000 feet, White Island, continuous low-level eruptions. A new one on the list, Medvezia volcano in Russia. Heat source visible at the summit crater there. Seven Kai to 24,000. Fuego to 16,000. Medapi to 12,000 feet. Swanoshima to 6,000 feet. Abeko to 11,000 feet today. Ibu to 8,000 feet. Libotobi to 10,000 feet. Santa Guito to 15,000 feet. Semaru 15,000 foot. White Island continues puffing. Dukono 8,000. Ibu to 8. Liwatobi to 10,000. And wrapping up the list, Savankaya, a 25,000-foot puff. Space weather is flat. The sun has been dead for two days. There are sunspots, but they're doing nothing. The good news, we do have chance for a geomagnetic storm low level in the next day or so, the 17th into the 18th. If it does pop off, any bigger than G1 could be a chance to see aurora. Tomorrow, Leah and I are going to be talking about a dinosaur-killing asteroid that was likely a giant mud ball. Yes, the Chicxulub Crater is what we're going to be talking about in Mexico that killed the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. It was a very rare type of meteoroid, meteor, and we'll be discussing that. Here's the paper. Ruthenium isotopes show 
the Chicxulub impactor was a carbonaceous type asteroid. Yes, a carbonaceous chondrite, indeed. More science. Scientists find a 520 million year old miracle, a fossil with brains and guts intact. Have you ever heard of such a thing? It's not as spectacular as you think because 520 million years ago, there wasn't much alive on Earth, just small animals. And this, in fact, is the larva of an arthropod, like a trilobite. Uh, but it did, did have the brains and guts intact. So that is quite interesting. All the links will be below. Oro Puche virus outbreak hits Europe as first deaths confirmed in Brazil. What the heck is this? Well, health officials have issued a warning to travelers after 19 cases of insect-borne illness, Urafuchi virus, were confirmed for the first time ever in Europe. Those who had tested positive for the virus had recently returned from holiday in Cuba and Brazil. Parts of South America and Cuba are currently in the midst of an ongoing outbreak of this Urafuchi virus with cases many times higher than normal. The first ever deaths from this virus were also confirmed recently in Brazil, adding to concerns about the current outbreak. This virus is an arthropod-borne virus, meaning it's transmitted to humans if they are bitten by infected midges or mosquitoes. It's most prevalent in arthropod-borne virus in South America after dengue. How do you like them apples? Maybe you get your own Jace case when you're traveling. Emergency medications to prevent you from getting Orofuchi virus. Get things like ivermectin and other uh, antibiotics. A year supply, customize your own kit, helps us as well as helps you and your preparedness. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share this video. Oh, and click on the Crestone Energy Fair video that just popped off and give that a gander. Just a 30-minute listen. And there's lots of interesting information in there that may just blow your mind. Be safe. We love you. Mm -hmm.